Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. This side of Sikh Thapa. Today I am going to discuss about the prediction using unsupervised machine learning, which is a beginner level data science intern tax in the Sparks Foundation. The data set I have used in this project is taken from this URL. You can visit this website and have this data set for your project. And also the profile link of the GitHub as well as the LinkedIn are mentioned here. You can visit and check it out. Uh, now without wasting much more time let's dive into our project in step number one we are going to import the uh, import required important libraries like numpy pandas matplotlib c1 and the warning modules uh, for ignoring some of the warnings but ignoring the warnings is not a good idea but in this project tax i have faced uh, one uh, warning that was unsolvable as well as that does not impact much more to our objective so i ignore this uh, that warning using the import warnings um, module now in step number two we are loading the data sets using the read underscore csv and this is our glimpse of our data sets in step number three we are going to um, going through the exploratory data analysis and visualization let's uh, see the shape info and statistical distribution of our loaded data sets df dot shape here giving the 150 and comma 6 value this is uh, this means that there are 150 rows in our data set and the six columns in our data sets look id is one column two three four five and the last one is species which is the sixth one and uh, there are 150 rows in our data sets now with the df dot info we are going to get the information about our data sets with along with the memory uses data types column names and null non null counts also and with the df dot describe we are going to get the information about the statistical distribution of our data sets like mean median standard deviation count quartile etc now let's check for the missing and duplicated values of the tuples in our data sets d of the duplicate dot sum is equal to is giving the zero which means there are no any duplicated tuples in our data sets also checking for the missing values or the missing tuples in our data sets with this there are no, all values are zero this means there are no any missing values also and after finally we are checking the data types of every uh, column values column attributes uh, except the species which is the target attributes all of them are here the all, all of them are of numeric data types now let's visualize our data sets using the cross tab look we have the data sets uh, containing a uh, tuples containing the iris data size uh, species uh, with the few, with 50 number of tuples and similarly we have 50 for each of the tuples having the Iris versicolor and Iris virginica species. So this is said to be the balanced data sets. As the target species have uh, consist of equal number of tuples for every possible values. And now let's see the mixed plots. I am doing this uh, for visualization purpose. From this visualization, we can see that. Uh, all the uh, except uh, iris cetusa, iris cetusa can be easily separated from the other two species of the uh, iris flower through the petal length centimeter, petal length in centimeter. Also, uh, petal widths uh, mm -hmm. can all be also used to distinguish between the iris cetusa and the other two species, but the two species. Uh, are not separable uh, only with the petal length, petal width, and sepal length, sepal width. This is uh, the way we we need to visualize the data sets and analyze and have conclusion about our data sets. Then after that, we use the C1 uh, for pair plot, and this is the uh, graph showing. Um, in detail visualization of our data sets you can see 
now ED in the visualization for this data set is already carried out detailedly in the tax one that is I have already uh, done the EDA and the visualization of uh, this Iris flower uh, data sets already in the um, Iris flower classification video. Uh, if you want to know more about the EDA, uh, about this project in detail, you can check that video, which will be, uh, which will I will, which I will link uh, or mention in my description. You can check from there also. And in step number four, we are going to split our data and. Uh, do the model fitting for that I am going through this approach x is equal to df dot i lock and uh, i lock and I am going to have all the rows but only the columns of the 0 1 2 3 index that is I am I am going to take column number 0 this column number 1 this one column number 2 this one and column number three is a x attribute and the uh, final column number four is a y attribute which is the species as a target attribute so that's what i am doing here and i am having the x values is an array of as they like look like this now for the unsupervised learning i am using the key means clustering and for this unsupervised machine learning program we are using k means clustering algorithm for dividing whole data set into different clusters main challenge for the k means clustering is to determine the number of clusters to be formed so this is the main challenge of our k means clustering for determining number of clusters to be found we have two methods first one is ilvo method and the second one is silhorte method for the detailed working of these methods uh, I have given the references you can uh, go and visit this uh, site and have detailed explanation about these methods also now for the ILVO method for this task I am using ILVO method for determining the number of the clusters that is the value of key to be formed so for that uh, I am going to plot within cluster sum of squares this is the within uh, WCSS is an empty and i am calculating computing this within cluster sum of the squares and and i am plotting the graph will look like this and from the elbow meter, method uh, the point from where where the value of wcss that is the within cluster sum of squares is rapidly decreasing look from the three here the the WCSS is rapidly decreasing and going um, and decreasing and going decreasing and decreasing so uh, we'll we can consider 3 as a value of k according to the elbow method so I selected the number of cluster in for the k means is equal to 3 and I have used the hyperparameter like the init k means plus plus max iteration of the 300 and random state of zero for the consistency of the data splitting then i have predict for the x and the which i have stored on y underscore press now visualizing the clusters how the clusters are formed for the visualization i have plotted the scatter plot which looks look like this and it is varsi color cluster is uh, in red in color, Iris Virginica in green color, and Iris Cetosa in blue color. From this uh, legends, we can see that the first one, Iris Virginica color, is uh, cluster number zero. That is the first cluster. Second is Iris Cetosa, which is the cluster number one, zero one, because uh, array starts from the zero. So zero represents zero cluster represents the Iris Virginica color. One represents the Iris Cetosa, and uh, third one represents the iris virginic and these uh, uh, centers are in yellow color for each clusters so there are three clusters formed with the three with their three corresponding centers which is in yellow color you can see this then after that uh, this knowledge can be only uh, gained through the analysis analysis through the analysis so uh, i have analyzed and uh, plotted the clusters and know about which uh, species which cluster belongs to which species so this depends upon the 
uh, analysis of the clusters as well as our data sets now finally after this uh, cluster uh, visualization i am going to, uh, to make the prediction on unseen data for that i have taken a uh, or tuple of random of tuple that is uh, that is never seen by, by our k means models so for that i have taken uh, for the parsi color Parsi color species of iris flower and my after the prediction of by our model to this tuple uh, it is give, printing the cluster value is zero which means cluster zero means the iris parsi parsi color so uh, our model is predicting very accurately with the unseen data also you can uh, you can uh, put uh, another new tuples which might be slightly different than uh, that of our train and the test of us uh, so that we can know about the uh, which species it belongs to so in this way we can make a prediction on unseen data and this uh, this was the end of the video hope uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel keep supporting keep loving and thank you guys